All right, my book for today is um, the original uh, story um, called Close to Shore that Peter Benchley, author of Jaws, used to uh, write the story of Jaws. Um, it takes place in the summer of 1916 in the midst of World War I. This, this period is interesting in, a, in and of itself in terms of swimming in the ocean. It's about the time that people started swimming in the ocean. Up until that point, you would go to the beach, but you'd sort of look at the water and you'd say, oh, how nice. Uh, makes sense, too, if you've ever seen any old bathing suits. Um, you're likely to sink more than swim with those things. Uh, lots of clothing. At any rate, um, what happens is it was an abnormally warm summer, um, meaning that lots of people were swimming, but also meaning that the currents um, and, and some of the food that, uh, that sharks typically uh, f uh, prey on and follow um, had shifted. So we saw um, many attacks. I think it was five or six attacks up and down uh, the East Coast. Anywhere, um, starting down, I believe, in uh, South Carolina and going all the way up to New Jersey. So um, there was a sequence of attacks. Many people suspected that, of course, it was a rogue shark, much like you would see in the movie Jaws. Um, and some of this was corroborated. However, um, for those of you that know anything about sharks, I, I will give you a little hint here. Um, as opposed to uh, many people for many years thought it was a great white shark. But I'm going to give you one clue that w if you know anything about sharks, will help you decode this. Uh, one of the, the, the shark was finally caught in a, in a creek in, um, in Maryland. So that will tell you a little bit. If you know anything about sharks, it will tell you a little bit about why um, it's not a great white. Um, very quick read. Again, so much good nonfiction being written today um, where the authors understand how to tell a story. It's not dry. It moves quick. It's sort of, again, it's sort of a mystery. Um, in the sense of you're, you're along with um, the people trying to discover where is this shark coming from? Why is this happening, right? Um, it's sort of, like I said, it's the it's dawn of a new era. So this, this interaction between sharks and humans is new. Um, and it reads, and it feels very much like that. You also get a lot of really good stuff about turn of the century America. So highly recommended, uh, five out of five stars.